first round, still the champ, and Dillashaw earns his 12th UFC win at Bantamweight, tied for the most in division history. Your reaction, because this fight was fun to watch. They didn't even touch gloves. <laughs> no, they didn't, but I was at the edge of my seat the entire time. Here's the problem with how this fight ended, Hakeem, if it is a problem. This means this probably ends their rivalry. I can see these guys fight every three months on the dot because they match up so well. Former teammates with that heated background, a good story coming in. But for the second time in less than a year, Dillashaw, who really knows Cody, was able to lure him into a brawl. And once Cody did that, Dillashaw relied on his technique, relied on his speed, and was able to get him out of there. This was as dramatic and intense in opening round reminded you a lot of that second round when they fought at UFC 217 last year. And for TJ Dillashaw, wow, most wins in UFC Bantamweight history. He just might be the greatest Bantamweight UFC has ever known. Akeem, he might, but just, but he just might be the best fighter in the sport. It was that dramatic of a victory. This will push him very high up the top 10 in the pound for pound ranking. Well, he's going to have to prove it because Henry Cejudo said he wants to fight Dillashaw. Dillashaw said, hey, bring it. What'd you think of that? Very interesting, because we thought this might be a direction Johnson would go. Now with Cejudo getting the upset, let's see where UFC goes right from here. Because I mentioned earlier, you certainly can make the case that Demetrius Johnson deserves that third fight against Cejudo first. You know what else you can make the case for? If you want to call Dillashaw the greatest bantamweight in UFC history, you know who's the one guy who he hasn't defeated? Dominic Cruz, the two-time bantamweight champion who owns a very disputed split decision victory over Dillashaw three years ago. Maybe we run both of those rematches back first and then do that super fight. We'll see which direction UFC goes. Lately, UFC is much more likely to go in the direction of those super fights, have as many champion versus champion ones as they can make. Either way, business picking up at flyweight. And, and uh, Hakeem, it's been a long time since we said that because even though Demetrius Johnson has been dominant, it hasn't been the most fun for fans along the way. Hey, what a fun night, though. We get an upset. And then we get a first-round knockout. So pretty good stuff at UFC 227 LA. And always good stuff from Brian Campbell, our combat sports writer here on CBS Sports HQ. Appreciate the time the knowledge, sir. Thank you.